Hello and welcome back, dear friends. It's me, Odo. I'm back in my campaign of EU4. Uh, EU4. Find the Kingmaker. Um, I didn't play for quite some time right now. Uh, and I was just uh, reorganizing myself. And um, I found a. a full load of things in the Dwarven Fortress, and this I will show to the Storyteller. Hello, Storyteller. And he said I he has some some interesting story for one, one, some of them. Here is so fresh, it is like I'm back home in the woods of my motherland. I can feel a soft breeze through my hair. Some of the five items are still missing, though. Slot about far. But the full story of this forest remains a mystery to me. Okay. I would be happy to trade the whole set of items for their story. Can you hear it calling to us? Oh, okay, yeah, this was the anvil. This is, this is done, but the cypress queen is not done. Okay, let's tell me the story of the... This brings us 10,000 gold coins and 1,100 XP. So it's great, I think. I see the flames of the forge. It is so close I can touch it. It sears my face and the sparks sting my cheeks. There is the fear in my soul, only admiration and reverence for the work of an artist. Storyteller seems to be in some sort of his unseeing eyes reflect the flames. Where does he get all this gold from? I mean, he's an old man without anything. <laughs> I am Colgan, an apprentice of the great Zarif, the first smith of Bronze Shield Fortress. And I'm fascinated by the work of a true master. The smith's hammer is raised in the air, the forge below's bellows roar, the sparks sizzle and rhythmic ringing fills the room. The anvil called the searing palm replies with a happy booming voice. This music, this song overwhelms my being. I feel a tear of joy run down my cheek and hastily wipe it away. For the proof of my weakness. The tongs in my hands are covered with soot. I help the master all I can. But I'm not allowed to raise my hammer over the anvil. Master Tsarif protects his anvil zealously. He won't let anyone else near it. I It usually offends me, but not now. Now my heart follows the ringing beat of a fiery song. <clears throat> he says I'm not worthy. He says, I have no talent, no spark of creation in my soul. Storyteller's lips curl with contempt. He says that all I can do is copy the work of others. Hmm. The anvil was created by Old Liv Langbuck herself. In ancient times, when the dwarfs, full of hope and inspiration, built fortresses along the shield road, Old Liv gave this anvil her voice and named it the Searing Palm. Ever since the anvil sings hymns in praise of its divine crafting skill of its great mother creator. Okay, let's continue. All I hear is silence. It's a bronze shield fortress is sound asleep. It's for the blinking of the signal bonfires. No one knows of the blasphemy about to be committed in the heart of the fortress. Oritana chokes down a lump in his throat. I push open the door of the smithy. Fear the door's squeal of protest will wake everyone, but silence quickly returns. Inside. I stoke the fire and don my suit smeared apron. Long have I dreamed of the anvil. It calls to me, its luring voice captures. Its ringing is full of promise. Tonight I will work the anvil myself. Tonight I'll become a creator. Master Tsarif, upon seeing my work, will be forced to accept me as his equal. 
fire rises to the ceiling and I raise my hammer to make the third throw. Something's wrong. When did I make a mistake? Ritella's face collapses. The animal, it won't sing, it moans under my hammer instead of sweet music. I hear cries of pain begging me to stop. Pinch my teeth and strike again and again and again. I will make it work. It will sing for me even if I must torture it to do it. To do so. Okay. The moans of the animal becomes a monotonous rumble. But I can't stop. The sniffy door swings open and muscled seraphs stand before me, disheveled and furious. Screams curses at me, but I can't hear hear them. The metal of my work crumbles under my hammer, but I can't see it. My eyes are blinded by tears. I he left, hung his apron on the hook, tossed away his hammer and tongs, and left Bronze Shield for. Deep in his heart, Colgan knew that Master Zarif was right all along. Colgan's hammer would never create a masterpiece of artwork as a poor substitute for inspired talent. Colgan, oh, this is an interesting lesson we learn. Normally it's the other way around. The talent is not a substitute of hard work. <laughs> the god of the dark dwarves accepted his new follower. The Duergar gave Colgan shelter and provided him with unceasing tasks and work. Work that required no talent, just endless routine. He crafted weapons for the Duergar army, and nobody collected masterpieces of him. He soon forgot all about the steering palm, Master Zarif, and the blasphemy he had committed. And it seems to me that there is the dark air in the dark tunnel serving Droska. Colgan finally found happiness. Well, we found those things. It lost its way. North Shield Fortress never again heard it sing. It was still functional, and the weapons made on it were durable, but nothing more. No master ever managed to craft a masterpiece there again. Okay. Good. Uh... Okay, let's see. May I? The storyteller gently touches the item from the back. Oh, you found shards of the trailblazer's helm. It, ref if reforged, such a helm would serve you well. You would also share its story with us. For that, I would gladly take up the smith's hammer once more. Find the remaining of the ten shards. Okay, ten shards of the helmet. But you were once part of the Forest Knight's bracer. I would be honored to restore this artifact for you. The bracers would serve you well for a long time. And we could uncover the story. If you managed to collect all ten, yeah, it's ten shards and ten shards. Okay. How about you becoming a advisor? Thank you for your words. I'm unlikely to be able to interpret the intricacies of the political world or the affairs of the treasury, but my advice regarding the magic of the arts would be useful to any ruler. Okay. So we can keep him as a magic advisor? Perhaps? Okay. Hello? Okay, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So we need four of these. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So three of these. And there is a Cypress Queen's Goblet. We need more of these as well. So these are going to the old bell beam. Good. So... 
Hello. Channel. Okay, what do we need next? Just reward. Yeah, we need to go there. Knarled branches. Kill the sky. Okay. Coins for a dead man's eye. So, in the... An ancient curse path. Ah, uh, I should have... I should have... Wait. Go there. I want to go to the kingdom management screen. I'm not sure if I can do something there, but yeah. Let's see. Ah, this was a failure. <sighs> Jupiter's you're a failure. Proved quite expensive. Fifteen. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay. I think we've got this. We met the visitors. Another visitor. So, proposal of cooperation. Three merchants from Absalom arrived in the region. They are ready to do business with the barony. Yeah, we can put Jubilos on that at the end of the month. That's an opportunity. Where we can send a Miri. Okay. Yeah, why not? Let's let's take a Miri there. It's an opportunity so we don't don't any crisis points. We know still Valerie. Hmm. Should we know still Valerie? And so let's put them there. Project trade agreement with Mivon. Yeah. Whatever. 100 base points. That's good. But it gives us one base point per m per week. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. There he is. Trade agreements. Hmm, claim, claim the south not marches. Okay, we could do this cost 400 building points. Interesting. Rather, rather a lot. But we have a lot of money, so we could buy some building points. Like, can we actually save 300? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had to wait there. <sighs> so we came to South Not Not Marches. Great. Yeah, well. How can we... Oh, region. Uh, 
can we just oh I'm stupid. Okay, research into the nature of Davik Natal Divine plus two. Hmm. Interesting. Good. Where do we settle? Let's settle somewhere. Hmm. Like here or here or here. That's it. No. Um. Let's call it like the front. Why not? Great. So we've got water from here. But we've got some event. Treasury requests your attention. Okay, later. Generate request. That's also later. What's that? In the name of the law. It's an opportunity. Okay. And what's that? And another guy. So let's put Chris in there. Restoration of bronze shield fortress would cost a hundred building points. We could send a Miri or Jubilos there. Interesting. Research, research, re report. Hmm. We could rank up loyalty, but not now. Hmm. Okay, let's let's move out and see all these free guys. Only a um, thing in the kingdom. And her heels into the floor as she approaches. She stands before you and simmering with indignation. I would never have thought that I'd commence my career as regent with such a case, but. The leader of a local gang is at your gate. He brought a chest stuffed with stolen goods, which he wants to share with you. Okay. Sounds interesting. I insist the impudent man be immediately arrested and brought to justice. Your lands have a long and dark legacy, but your subjects fail to grasp that the times of and extortionists are over and law rules here now and henceforth. You will not protect these bandits as the state lord did. You have to spend it from my land and from now on do the same to any similar petitioner. Okay. Well, this seems like a good thing. I mean, we get 50 building points and we do what she wanted. I will carry out your orders with pleasure, Slatibar. Hmm. Interesting. Now she can gain um, things as well. Miri looks displeased since you made me the troops chief. Listen to what I tell you. You need more people. <laughs> Ones we have now are weak things and cowards. If we can get any good fighters, our neighbors will smash us whenever they want. Okay. Just so you know, we should pick better fighters. I don't want to deal with overgrown kids who complain about every threat. Don't take just anyone who wants it, or else we'll have barracks full of pansies. 
what are we going to do with pants is we need them strong in Let's see or it's new. I can remember I can remember this when um what's the old name was the chief of military. I think he wanted the same as she. Unrestricted recruitment, anyone with the will for it is good enough. I, I'm I'm pretty sure he didn't like this. Okay, she she wants the strongest guy. Let's let's give her the strongest guy. I don't know. Why displease her? I'm I mean I really don't care, and I think it doesn't make any any much difference. So and then there is Jubilost. What do you want? Well, then he greets you with a document. Baroness, you will never guess what your treasurer is holding. A letter. He waves the paper across his head. The ink on it This is a list of things that tumbled out of the wall of your own basement. As the workers were undertaking repairs, she lost the glasses and starts reading. I mean, how was it possible to build this? Alice so fast. A gilded guard, one silverware, three a set of gold coins. The list is long and varied, so I'll, I'll get straight to the point. It appears that your workers uncovered the stag lord's secret cash, items stolen from his own henchmen. Finding the true owners of these things would be a hard and thankless job, while taking these trinkets for your own chests is complicated. To expropriation, in other words, robbery. <laughs> As your financial advisor, I recommend a compromise. Appraise these riches and spend an equal amount on reviving the villages laid to waste by the bandits. Let these treasures, treasures bring some good to those who suffered most under the stag wood. That's quite interesting. These give us. These people, these things belong, don't belong to me any more than they belong to the state. Not all of them return to the people. Hmm. I'm not sure what this does, but he he thinks it's good, so let's do this. Oh well, it it community plus three, and we can. Make him stronger. That's good. What's that? I don't want to see this. Bokken! Yay, I want to see this. We got a potion of protection from arrows, potion of eagle splendor, and protection from fire. Hmm, nice. Yeah, well, go on. Uh, if it's not not worth it, we can sell it. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I know that the old bell dame, the old witch who lives in the swamp, had one of these volumes in her. Ah, so he wants a book. Ah, he wants free books. Hmm, whatever. Is this harem? No, it's not harem. Dragon. A young dwarf in worn out clothes shows you a scroll of fine paper with an expensive seal. He speaks ceremoniously like a herald. Greetings, my name is Dragon Moradash. I come to you, your grace, with a request. What would be precise to receive compensation? 
used to run through your lands. It was built among the other, among others by my ancestors, members of the noble Voradash clan. This means they still own it, even though they were driven from these lands. According to all law, if a bandit takes my father's house and kills him, the house still belongs to me. So I've come for what's mine. What, the road of shields? Here, take a look. This scroll contains a list of expenses for building the road of shields, the cost of laying the stone, draining, cutting, fire breaks, and so on. You and your people, I, I don't think he knows who he's talking to. Would you now please pay for the work my ancestors did? I, Dragon Voradash, humbly demand compensation, blah 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 blah. My advisor will check your calculations to the digit. Unfortunately, they already have a great deal to do, as it is, so the gods only know when they'll have time to look at your petition. Yeah, that's good. He just wanted a shop. I mean, this is this is terrible that you can't give him the shop if you take the lawful evil thing. So let's go inside there again. <laughs> Military plus one, economy plus one. Okay. A few more so events. There are no events. This is good. So we have rank ups and economy. Let's see. The cost of building point seems nice. Let's do this. And other rank ups regent. So Valerie. For community or Miri for military or Jubilos for economy. I mean, yeah, we will do one of these now, but let's see what does it do. If we rank up economy, do we get more building points then? From stat ranks, yeah. Each rank brings us one building point. Okay. One thousand five hundred. Yeah, well, that's not going to work. Mivon, this could work. Cost us a hundred building points. So let's just say. So then we can only do this rank. But that's okay with me. When she has to get one. This is terrible that you can't do anything while doing these. Hmm. 
Happy birthday to you, Baroness. The Baroness's birthday special date, blah, 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 blah. 20 billion points. That's good. We did well. Success in the name of the law. Plus three loyalty, plus one step. And we got profound bonus to resolving any problem with the general. Okay, we've got problems. Okay, we'll have to talk to someone. Travel plans. Uh, this is an opportunity. And cheap publicity is also an opportunity. These two, yeah, now she's got a plus six. That's good. And who can we send here? Christian or Miri? Hmm. Let's send a Miri. And let's start this. And send Christian and start this. Rebuild your capital into a lively town. Okay. What does it bring us? Hmm. Let's buy some more. Regions like not much is like there. Let's end it there. Raycon Gar is his name, yeah. I knew that. Let's build stuff. One thing special that we would. What's stop? Structure designed to put local criminals on display. Oh, that. Stability plus one. Yeah, why not? Let's put them there. No long house. Um, yeah, air and other fine beverages when located in a settlement with a windmill and plus one to stability when located in a settlement with a tavern. Okay. Okay, where is the windmill? Okay, yeah, we will build the windmill there. What's the rest? Brewery and granary. Mm hmm. Let's keep one day. Mm -hmm. Okay, we need something there. Sorry, I just forgot. Um. Oh. Okay. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I thought my troubles were over, but no. Yeah, of course. Hmm. Interesting. I think the neutral good is the best option here. We will get his trade, uh, his his taxes, but I'm pretty sure it's not it's not important now. I mean even if we are lawful evil, we can be far-sighted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so too. Okay, so let's move inside there because Jubimov can do something right now. Mm -hmm. We could support him and rank up even further. It will take another 14 days. Ah, so much time, but yeah, why not? I mean, we'll have to do it anyway sometime. Yeah, we're now at rank two and we have 34 income. It's good that we do that. Because we raise our income by doing this. And we also make our guys better. Cheap participant triumph plus four loyalty plus one culture. Okay. New face in the life of our capital. Your capital is now a lively town. Good, I think. Three events. Ethel and Fury. Okay, another talk. Another talk. Every little bit helps. Seems nice. Jupiter, you are now plus eight, so great. Let's start this event. 
then we've got some money. Let's enter here and let's build the windmill and the brewery. Oh. Uh, let's purchase some. Nice. That's that. Let's enter top. I did it all top. We have already a wooden wall. Good. Shop, barracks, longhouse, shrine, lumber yard. Ah, we've got more place to build stuff. Great. Lighthouse, what does this do? I don't want to put any shade on An exciting light for river ships can only be built in a lighthouse slot. Well, <laughs> we could upgrade the longhouse now. For thirty, let's upgrade this. Hmm. For another one hundred, we could. Stop this. These curses take so long. Okay. I think this was it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time soon. Ah, uh, there are not a people. Uh, okay. You know the traveling merchant. Oh, I know this stuff. Uh, the face of the undead elf now burns with rage. Despite the near his nearness to his furious undead captain, Neo looks concerned but unafraid. If you allow me to speak. I can explain everything. I hope you can, half blood. Otherwise, I will hiss it and turns to you. Have I told you the sad story of my death? <laughs> this is so, so stupid. That most of all, because I do not remember how my life ended. I wandered exhausted through the wastelands beyond the borders of Neon, whatever. You were. Killed. Mm -hmm. Okay, we should go there.
whatever. And we'll stop for today. This took some, uh, this took more time than I wanted. But, you know, um, another thing, your grace today, a letter from Brevoy has delivered, blah, 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 blah. Okay, we got better. We will read this only in the next episode. Until then, see you.